Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Okay, it's still Thursday and this is the fourth video I've done in a row. I've worked through my two um, panels the on the bobbin and I've also started placing out the French garden scene on that really big piece of linen. So my last project is the rolling pin and it's going to be a celebration of all my doilies that I've collected from family and aunts and grandmas and I've taken out their piece of actual embroidery and just kept them in a big container which is just there. So I've got my rolling pin. It's not a big one, it's only a little guy. So I'm hoping that's going to be big enough to piece um, something together. I've cut myself off a piece of uh, calico which will be my base so now it's just to start sort of working out how I'm going to make this happen so how am I going to make this happen I guess I've got an opportunity to have just thinking of the attachment let's say that goes over the top stitches like that that stitches down so I've got an opportunity of making a feature across the front here. So I need to have a think about that as well. Um, I wonder if I... Maybe I need to have a look at my pieces. Because I sort of feel like it's got a chance to have a bit of a... Maybe I do a sign that says down the garden path there. So that means it would actually be on the back of my panel. Yeah, I like that idea. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a pen. So I potentially could have it's sort of coming through here, a header. So that would say down the garden path. Okay. So then that would That would stitch down and that would create the loop at the top. I haven't done this with the other ones. This is sort of something new I'm considering here. I like the idea of it having a, a title at the top. Be a little bit different then to the others. So that would mean that piece is actually on the back. So whatever I do is my background fabric, I actually need to do over there as well. And then that will just hang. Just thinking, thinking, thinking. Yeah, I think that'll work. Now let's have a look at the doilies. I don't know if there's anything in there that is wildflower. And I need to have a think about my background fabric and how I'm going to piece this together. Something I do need to show you, I was a naughty girl. I went out um, during the week to the local shopping centre to get groceries and there's a Adair's uh, linen. I think it's Adair's. It's in Australia and it just sells um, all sorts of different linens and knickknacks for your home. And I spotted this quilt set there that had this embroidery in it so then I asked the lady if she had the cushion covers only or the pillar slips only and she did and it was all 40% off due to the boxing day sale thing still lingering around so I bought the pillow slips so I got two for my money and look at them they're like gorgeous embroidered pieces so I'm thinking about fussy cutting this through my project I just love it absolutely love it I only bought the pillar slips and I think they came down to $20 but when you think about the fabric that I got embroidered I've got two panels one for a rainy day 
and then one for this particular project it's got some birds in it some butterflies so I'm thinking I could wind this through the project so I've got that to have a think about if it suits I will or maybe it's its own project I, I don't know let's just put it to one side and have a look at these doilies I guess too the other thing I've got to work out is what is going to be my background fabric um so I've got a couple that are definite favorites and are they too big that's beautiful like it would fit sort of all the work's done isn't it do I want to go down that track Here's another one. Does it need to be a bigger rolling pin? This is only a little rolling pin here. Let me just measure that. It's only about 19 inches. Let's keep looking. Well, they sort of look like wildflowers. And it's open enough that I could easily embroider in around it. So that's a that's a good one. What's that piece? What's his story? Oh, it's a basket. Well, that'd be a bit of fun. To embroider a basket of flowers. I don't know if you have a basket of flowers in your garden, do you? Maybe if you just pick them. That's like a full set. I don't know if I want to break that up. Clark Anchor. Let's keep looking. I've got a heap of these little guys. And then there's these rings of flowers. Do I need to consider a colour scheme or do I just go with it? A celebration of the... See, I like that one. I like these little morsels. These can, you know, always join the party at a later date, but... Oh, look at that one. How's that for a good one? But is it too big? Is there room for me to embroider in amongst it? That's the golden question. Oh, there's a hole in that one. This is an old girl. Right, that's a possibility. So I could break it down. Maybe that's the way to go with this one break it down even more so I've just got morsels and then I can go in around it I'm gonna feel like I'm 10 again embroidering doilies so even that little piece is cute I like the border is that hand sewn or machine sewn it's machine sewn see little morsels like that look at that um, oh, look at this one. I haven't looked through this properly for ages. I got these pieces, some of these from, um, oh, what's the name of the business? She's in the UK. I'll think of it. I'll think of it. Yeah, I'm thinking those are possibilities. And then I can always bring in some of these random little pieces. What else have we got here? Yeah. I like him. Sort of got a bit of a colour scheme happening. They're all part of a garden basket sort of look. I can always go back looking through. See, there's a heap of linen I could use to lay down my background. I'm thinking I need to stay in the whites. 
so I might keep that piece out. That's off of a cushion I picked up at a op shop and I just cut the fabric out and I've long, the cushion itself, the linen that that was on has long been used. What's this old girl? Oh, she's an old girl. No, he's, she's the wrong colour. That's a good little one. That could come in. A lot of these are my mum's that were part of packs. I've used him a few times in different... Oh, that's cut work. I might keep that out. I've got a project going with uh, Susanna, um, Vintage Blend Studios. She's providing a prompt once a month. There's a little butterfly. He could find a home. Once a month and one of the blocks coming up. Oh, I love that. That's nearly a piece on its own with the lemon and the yellow and just gorgeous. Let's save that for a rainy day. There's some little ones. Yeah, Susanna's got a block coming up, um, cut work, where I'm going to experience doing a bit of cut work. And I, um, that there might be a good piece to work in with my colour scheme that I'm doing. But that's oh, April, I think. Oh, I like that. Doesn't that look like it's going down a garden path? That one's got potential. These ones here, I don't think do. Bluebells. Don't really want the cross stitch. Oh, look at this rose. I picked that up for a dollar in an op, op shop. That is just beautiful let's have a look at the last pile here just some little random bits even that's got a bit of cut work in it I might put that with that other piece and maybe that goes to a project in the Susanna in the Susanna tasks oh, I love those Sort of doesn't fit. That's all machine done. Or is it? Yeah, no, it's hand done. Is that two? See that one there? That's something to have a think about. That could fit at the top and we embroider in there. That'd be pretty cute. I think. Oh, there's more cut work. Ooh, I like that one. So I'm going off on a tangent now. There's a heap of cut work in there. Okay, cut work. I wonder if Susanna would let me get away with just basting these together and not actually doing cut work. I bet she wouldn't. She'd be like, Corinne. You can do better than that. I've never done cut work, so I'm looking forward to having a go at it. I've been watching a few videos to try and get my head around how they do it. There's one chap that does it, and it, apparently it's an Italian style of embroidery. And this Italian guy does it, and he only has a couple English videos. The rest are in Italian, and gee, he's good. He's only a young fellow, and um, he's a talented Talented fellow. I'm going to keep a few of these out. I just feel like I might be able to piece them in amongst it. I'll keep some of those daisies. And that's probably about all. I have a feeling I've got enough, enough elements here. Don't need that. That's too big. It's beautiful. And I had visions of using them, but I think they're too big. I think I need smaller pieces and I'd hate to cut that apart and um, use it. And this, I think, might be the background fabric. I might be able to piece this down and use it. And I've also got this runner as well. <clears throat> so, and my birds. So I'm going to put that away. 
because now I have eliminated a big box from my craft table and I can just focus on some smaller pieces that needs to go in there as well. Okay, let's have a think about the top of this and how we present. Where'd that little doily get to that was oblong? Can I stitch that in there? Can you see what I'm talking about? Look at that. What about that for the top? And then we embroider in there. Or do we... You sort of got to think about your piece when it rolls up. And if it goes over like that, and that is at the back, then as the piece, if the piece is just rolled up on the bench and not actually on a wall, it'll be the right way. Does that make sense? So that means it would sit like that. So then this piece could go at the top. And when it rolls up, it would actually look like it's meant to be that way. I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. It's a shame I've got a stain there. And what is that? And it feels solid, doesn't it? Oh, okay. It's, it's like a wax or a glue. I think I can get that off. That's not actually a stain in the fabric. Yeah, that's lucky. So I'm thinking... of making the top of my piece have this on it. This doily will kick it off. Like so. Yeah, I like that. That's the start. Gosh, I'm lucky that come off whatever that was it feels hard like it's a wax or something I might be able to heat that and get get it off but that's pretty good all right so let's assume that that's our topper and then that will roll over and join so is that going to work I know I need to lower I need to bring that down. I need to iron it. So that it sits right where it would hang. Like so. That still needs to be lower. Okay, let's try that again. I mentioned in the previous three videos that it's Thursday and Marianne, my mate, is coming over for Friday night, roast dinner, and she is going to be joining us on this journey down the garden path. She's a little bit nervous. Well, it's been quite funny. I've just been laughing and laughing because I sent her, I think it was like just 11.30 at night, I sent her the videos of the girls and what they released. So she's like sound asleep and she'd be thinking that girl is pinging me in the middle of the night. I think that will work. That will just fit if that goes there. So I've sent her the two videos that Rachel and Sarah, well, as the day is worn on, because it's now, what time is it? It's nearly half past 12 after lunch. So this is my fourth video and I think I started at 7 o'clock this morning doing these videos. So I've sent her the video. She's now watched them and she's thinking to herself, oh my goodness, her, her exact words was, this is pretty daunting, but I'm eager. And then she asked me two questions. It's hilarious. She's going to watch this video and go, don't tell them what I'm thinking, Corinne, but it's quite cute. 
She goes, I'm feeling daunted. My first question is, what is the invisible stitch? And my second is, what other materials do I need to bring? So I sent her a little video saying, don't stress about anything. We'll talk it all through on Friday night, basically. She's then gone and watched my video, my introduction, where she says how um, I'm planning to make four projects. And she's like, oh my goodness, I'll be lucky if I get one done. So I said um, to her, you will. Um, I've got a fifth one burning a hole in the back of my head. So don't, um, don't stress. And I've also told everyone on YouTube that you're joining us so that you guys know that she's coming along along the way. And she has sent this, this GIF. Isn't that gorgeous? She's like freaking out. <laughs> it just made me laugh and laugh. So don't stress. It will all work out. So stay tuned. So is that going to work? Yes, it's going to work. So that's going to be the top to my piece. I like that. I sort of feel like I need another, another mill or two. Is that just a bit too... No. It's okay. That just gives me just enough to pinch it in behind there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them off. Get rid of the weapon. And that can be stitched down as my feature piece. And I might be able to get down the garden path, maybe stitched in here. I have to have a think about it. Maybe I can down the garden path. I'll just sketch it in now and just see. If I like it. Mm. Yeah, that's all right. Could probably even put the year there. We'll see. But that's pretty good. So that's my top. Now I need to find fabric to create the background. So I've got all my little decorative pieces that I believe are going to be in the project. So I'll put them aside. Now let's let's have a look at some of these laces. They are so, so, so pretty. But can I work them in? Maybe I needed just a piece of linen to start with. Maybe I could tuck that under there. Maybe I need to cover the whole thing with it. Yeah, I think I do. All right, let's use this as a template and get some fabric out of it. It'd be so good to use it. This will give us the white background we need. And I'll get three or four pieces out of it that can be used to piece it together. And I might even take it back up underneath that doily. So good when you can use some of the fabrics that you've got. You know, we take all the pretty things out and leave often lots of scraps. So it's, it's sort of good that we can use Now, I don't want to go too far with this one because it'd be very easy to fill it up with doilies, which sort of defeats the purpose of doing it, I think. But I certainly want to feature them. I want to find them a home. So I'm only going to go so far. I'll get the white background down with the invisible stitch. Can I sneak another one out of there? Yep. And then I need to just 
see how we go with this one because I want plenty of room to do the old fashioned doily stitches. This is a celebration of childhood memories of doing embroidery. I wonder if I can sneak down a little bit longer there. You know, when we were little girls and we'd be given a doily to do. good that's given me two nice pieces but I've used that bulk so let's have a look what have we got let's sneak that under there for now to make sure we at least get the structure started that can come down because I can always find some fabric I haven't even thought along the lines of some pops of colour, you know, actual fabric in these primary colours. I do have a kit. It doesn't quite go to the edge, but I'm not too worried about that because I'll be hanging, you know, lace and bits and pieces over, so I'm not too worried about that. I need to ask my cousin who in her family did this piece because it's not from my side. It's a piece given to me when a, a sewing room was being cleaned out. So I need to just see who that is because it'd be lovely to work out who made some of these and then potentially... Um, Maybe even stitch their name in there. We could do that. That'd be nice. That one's not my my family. So we've just got enough of this linen. Not quite, but close enough. It will do, and I'm sure I can find some more somewhere that can fill in the gaps. So I'm not too worried about it. And it is only the background. It's going to give a little bit of structure to my piece. I'm running out of pins. But wait, we have more. It's all good. Like I said, I isn't that blunt. Um, I started filming this morning. So I haven't stitched anything yet. It's just all piling up at the end of the desk. But that's all good. This is all part of it. I'll leave it that for now. And if I get some fabric somewhere. Okay. So that will be invisible stitch. There you go, Marianne. That's invisible stitch. Getting your backgrounds down. So that you can get rid of these pins and you don't hurt yourself all right now wildflowers how are we going to do this because we need some lace gotta have some lace let's chop a bit of lace off is that the right way nope See how I would like this to lay. Overlapped. Can sneak down that side. Whether we need it all doesn't matter. It is in. I'll just rough cut at the moment because I don't really know. That is upside down. So that can go away unless we want more of it to appear further down. So maybe we'll just keep it there. So let's, let's get you positioned. See, I thought, oh yeah, no, that is the right way. 
Do we want it to sneak up and over this piece? I think we do, but we don't want to lose that nice little edge. So let's tuck that under there, get that into there, and pin that to there. So there's my first layer upon layers. I like that and that can be all stitched and some more pins okay. who knows what will come through that side but that's Darn good start. Now, those pins under there, might as well pull them out. Those pins are terrible. They're going in the bin. They are, they're like, you can feel it. It's like grabbing as if, it's like the coating. They are terrible. In the bin they go. That's, see, that's beautiful and smooth, that one. All right. Okay, so let's have a look at our pieces now. We don't need that one. That can go back. Let's see what we've got that inspires wildflowers. They don't. They don't. Don't think there's anything in amongst the birds yet. Nope. Sort of do, don't they? That piece there. It feels a bit wildflowerish. How would I work that in? Hmm. Look at all that bullion stitch. Look at that, guys. Those flowers, they're a bullion stitch. Oh boy, it's all come apart here. I wonder, I wonder if that's got potential. There's definitely nothing in that. I do like that. That's the start of something. Daffodils, well they grow as wildflowers. In England, in paddocks, Holland, but not really what I'd think as a wildflower. Um, don't need a butterfly yet. Daisies. Am I overthinking it? Probably. Hmm. I need to bring some fabrics in. Do I need more lace? What am I laying it on? What's going to be under these pieces of embroidery? Is that enough? I don't think so. I don't think that's enough texture. I feel like I need some more lace. Um, let me just lean across and grab this basket. Things like these types of things. And then this embroidery pops in amongst it. So for example, that, if we cut that piece off and laid it in there, what would it look like then if these little morsels of embroidery were popped in amongst it. I think that's a better idea. Getting a bit of texture. Um, I also sort of feel like I need some doilies. I haven't used the doilies yet. Let me go grab my container of doilies. 
One moment, please. <clears throat> so let's have a play with some doily snippet bits, that one and that one. Maybe, maybe I've got to get some layering happening. Like I thought with this one, I probably won't go too far ahead and just build, build it up. See, there's one with yellow on it. See, I can get away with some of these. These have been rattling around in my doily container. Where's my scissors? For so long, because I just haven't had a project they suited. But now I'm in the primary colours. You know, they can come in. That's, that's a bit too crazy. Oh, but then again, when you start looking at it, hmm. There was a piece I used to use in the Jessie Chorley, this one. I used that on a swan. I like that. It's been rattling around on my desk for a while. So, layers. What flowers could I bring up through here then? See, oh, look at this. Is that not a path? That's a path. I didn't even notice that. All right. I'm taking that out. And I've got to have a good think about it because that, to me, is a path. I may be able to extend that path because what they do is they've just done a, a running stitch and just sort of jumped all over the place and made it quite random. I don't know if I need it yet. That's definitely in the pile. I'm thinking of breaking this down, to be honest. I wonder if I can cut in around there and fussy cut these pieces out. This little edge is coming off. Oh, I'm shaking. Let's take him out. That'll make a great little strip, you know, down an edge. Just poked in as a bit of a, a feature. Or it could even be manipulated around there. But I could also embroider through there, so I'm not too worried about that edge but I do like that pop of yellow there see this is going to be great for yo-yos I can do do yo-yos and I'm going to break this piece down and I'm going to use one of them as a feature wish I had my little scissors oh yes I do excellent I'm going to, I won't go too close to it yet until I know how I'm going to use it and how tight I need that trimmed back. I hope I can get through there without the embroidery breaking up. Oh, no, so that's good. I can cut through there and I'm not going to ruin the stitch. 
I might just pop a little bit of glue there because I would hate for that work to come undone. So on the back, I'm just going to smear the tiniest little bit of art glitter glue just to hold that because that has the potential of fraying out ever so small little dog that way I know it's just trying to get the stopper in yep that's better So I need to be very careful there. Okay. Maybe you don't need that yet up here. Once I work out my composition, I'm sort of scooching ahead here a little bit with this one. The others were very much background. See, I love that. See the corner there? And then there's the second layer, which is also a corner. And Dead Set cannot plan this slow stitch. You just got to go with the flow. Now... So we've got a choice. We could bring that guy up there or we could keep it a lot lower with these little guys. I sort of feel like we can handle the height of this. It's so pretty. And then maybe we collage in and then maybe I can do something up here and that's the piece of embroidery featured. I do feel like I need an edge to frame it. But I like that. Does that work? That little edge we trimmed off. It does, you know. Yeah, I like that. So that would need just whip stitching down. That gets fussy cut out some more. And that should be able to sneak right up and underneath. Let me pull that down a little bit. Should be able to get right up and underneath that piece there so that it like disappears this little guy can lay over it that's okay there's plenty of it being seen I could even jiggle that down a little bit so those couple little flowers are seen there I might just trim that straight because we're not going to need that corner That they can peek out from there is really pretty. That can come up a little bit. And we can have that pop of yellow there. Oh, I wish I had some more pins. I've got a couple there. And then... Maybe I can do something through here. No, I feel like they really feel like wallflowers to me, but I might need as many pieces of embroidery and doilies to actually do this project at all. We'll see how we go. 
maybe they can come up through there. What else have we got? We've got a butterfly. Keep him. Got some daisies. We could certainly put some daisies up there. Is there anything in this? You know, this sort of feels like a completely different project. I think this is a snippet roll or something, This or a piece in my journal. Yeah, I'm going to take this away. Oh, maybe it would. We could sneak things in. I don't know. I'm going to get this stitch down first and just sort of see how this sort of feels and what comes up through this stone here. Well, maybe there's a prompt coming in the future that would take care of that zone. You know, we don't have to fill it all in. You do if you have the idea we'll go for it but I'm thinking that little gap and up through here might be something completely different see I've got this little door which has caught my eye these have been rolling around and they certainly suit the colors just gonna rough cut that out Maybe I can do something with those. Be nice to find them a home. And how many have we got? We got one, two, three, four, five. All right, I'm going to snip them out and we'll have a play with them. They might be able to drift through the whole project. They would give us a bit of a feature flower. That makes sense. So they're now in the pile. And that gets rid of that little purple guy that's been rolling around in that bucket of scraps. Okay. All right. So. I think there's going to be something build up here. Maybe we drift in some of these types of laces. I do love that. Look at those little ones. Let's cut it out. You'll never know. This will put a bit of shimmer into the piece. been snipped and nibbled at so I'm going to just trim that back a bit maybe that can tuck in just not the right shape maybe that goes under there that's better. Mm, I like that. It's getting quite busy, which is gorgeous. And maybe this little guy drifts back into here. That links all that together. All right, let's make some space here. I think we've got a plan, guys. Okay, that will go over there. And then we start drifting down. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I just don't have enough pins to pin it all, but that that's okay. I can leave this sort of sit. 
on my desk until I'm ready to invisible stitch it all down. I've got lots of layers here, so it's starting to feel nice and um, textured. Wish I had more pins. It's all good. There's some down here. These are the nasty pins. So let's just pop a couple of those in there. That needs to be trimmed a little bit better. There's a pin there. I've got, got some. It's all good. Oh, this is going to be a lot of fun. By the time I get some buttons and beads and we have these little pops of doilies poking in around the place. I think that's a good start. That's plenty to work on. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yep, 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 yep. Love it. How different are they all? That's just fantastic. Awesome. All right, guys. I'm going to put this project now in its own box and I've got some morsels here that are of interest that's bandit he's about to start woofing I think that's a good start I might keep a little bit of that with the project because I might end up reversing that piece onto the bottom is what I'm sort of thinking we'll see we will see. That would just make a beautiful page in a journal. If that was just one page. Gorgeous. All right, everyone. Thank you for joining me. I'm exhausted. That's four videos in a row for the day. And now I've got a week's worth of stitching. Maybe longer. Goodness me. But that's all good. We're ready. We're off and racing. We've got a plan. And the rolling pin piece is coming along nicely. All right, everyone, I will say goodbye and I'm not sure when you'll see me pop back up because I've got plenty of stitching to do, but I'll keep you posted. And um, this one here, a splash of colour is on its way. All right, guys, look after yourselves. Enjoy your stitching. Bye.